It's been the subject of controversy and protest for years, and now Essex County announced it's canceling its multi-million dollar contract to detain undocumented immigrants for U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement. County officials cited an anticipated lack of space at the prison, which just locked in an $11 million agreement to house hundreds of inmates for nearby Union County. In a statement to PIX11 News, the Essex County Commissioner's President suggests that the public outcry played a role in terminating the contract, saying this board has heard clearly and consistently from constituents concerned about ICE detainees and the county's contract with ICE. Those concerns have not fallen on unconcerned ears. As part of that lucrative contract, which netted the county tens of millions of dollars in revenue, ICE detainees were held at the Essex County Correctional Facility in Newark, a facility where inhumane conditions thrived, according to a report from Human Rights First. People being fed rotten, uh, unidentifiable food. Their only crime being undocumented. While many advocates welcome the news of Essex County cutting ties with ICE, they're describing it as a bittersweet celebration. We feel like it is an immoral um, and unethical way to uh, balance the county's budget. Advocates like Mary Rizzo, who has organized several protests over the longstanding contract, is one of many taking issue with the county's approach to continue to profit off incarceration, where Union County inmates will simply fill in the role of ICE detainees. It's really a question to, to voters. What is the message that they're receiving from their county leaders when we make decisions like this? We reduce people's livelihoods to dollar signs. Essex County Correctional Facility is currently housing 165 detainees. The target date to depopulate them from the prison is set for August 23rd. In Newark, I'm Andrew Ramos, PIX11 News.